Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where skincare is all about progression over perfection because perfection doesn't exist. Today I bring you some more of my favourite and in my opinion the best Korean skincare products and today we're going to be talking about my favourite, what I class the best K-beauty sunscreens. And whilst you should be wearing sunscreen all year round, here in the UK, summer is happening or supposed to be happening or coming up, I don't know. We know I don't know seasons. It's getting warmer. It's around about that time of year that I complain because I'm too hot all the time. And for me, Korean sunscreens are like my default sunscreen. I would pick a K-beauty sunscreen over Garnier, for example, any day, because I feel like Korean skincare brands really has sunscreen down. By default, the majority of them are really lightweight. They're pretty much a sunscreen with moisturizing benefits. Non-skin and eye stinging formulations that I always just really love. There's only really been like five, like really bad Korean sunscreens that I didn't like. So in today's video sponsored by stylekorean.com, I'll be sharing some of my favorite sunscreens, some iconic, some you may not have heard of before, I hope to introduce you to some new ones and some you definitely would have heard of before on this channel. Style Korean is actually the first platform where I bought my first K-beauty sunscreen from that we'll be talking today, but the website that when I was new to K-beauty helped me discover every Korean brand and a huge variety of products and ingredients that K-beauty had to offer, really introducing me to niacinamide and all this kind of stuff. I really have Style Korean to thank for a lot of stuff I know about today. They also sell K-pop. So if you like K-beauty and K-pop, they have it all over there. So they are sponsoring today's video and every product will be linked in the description box down below. So go and have a browse on Style Korean, please. Let's talk about one of my like new favorite favorites. Um, this is Tokubo. I think I've already featured it, depending on when I post it, I've already featured this in a um, video. And this isn't just a new Korean favorite, this is like an all over all brands, all places, sunscreen favorite of mine. This is a vegan broad spectrum chemical sunscreen. Well, it does have titanium dioxide in, but of course it's got no white cast. And like most K-beauty sunscreens, this feels incredibly lightweight on the skin. Like you don't feel anything on your skin. And just like a really lightweight, dewy, super hydrating moisturizer. And with this particular bio watery sun cream, SPF 50 plus, sorry, PA4 pluses, you really feel that hydration on the skin and you can see it. If you like dewy, healthy, plump, glowing looking skin without the greasiness, this is the sunscreen for you. It's not greasy, meaning you could apply it over and over and over every two hours. If you're outside all day and you don't get greasy, you don't start looking like dripping wet as sunscreen, it just looks like a nice dewy glow. Of course, we have hyaluronic acid in here for hydration, but they also highlight mung bean extract, which is an ingredient I usually love in serums and creams because it's got some soothing properties to it. One thing this brand highlights is that it's even good for the most sensitive skin because you know sometimes chemical sunscreens in particular can kind of like sting your skin. It can make it feel like a little prickly, do you know what I mean? Especially if you have a damaged skin barrier, sunscreens in general can damage your barrier further and add irritation. But on Style Korea, they show the brand's kind of like findings that basically says that it causes no irritation whatsoever. That's obviously a broad statement, but if you are easily irritated by sunscreen, I would definitely give this one a go. Again, as I mentioned, no stinging of the eyes, no stinging of the skin. This also contains turmeric for soothing and it's actually an antioxidant, which plays well with sunscreen. Skull cap root, which is another antioxidant, but also has brightening benefits. Alongside lots of traditional plant extracts. And some lovely emollients, which I usually don't mention, but they really like work well in this sunscreen, giving you just this smooth look and finish to your skin. I love this. Speaking of this, they also do a stick version. This is the Tokubo Cotton Soft Sun Stick. This is an SPF 50 plus PA four pluses. This is a little bit different to this. It's not just the same formulation in a stick. But my favorite thing about uh, Korean sunscreens and the brand's approach to sunscreens is the emphasis on reapplication of the product and how easy they make it to reapply sunscreen throughout the day. And again, the K-Beauty style Korean is pretty much how I discovered um, stick sunscreens. I feel like reapplication of sunscreen is the one thing people hate to do because it can be kind of annoying and a bit fussy. You're out wherever. You don't really want to be whipping out 
buttered cream and you make sure it's all rubbed in everywhere, even though these K-Beauty sunscreens rub in effortlessly. But a stick form means you get really good coverage. You can feel exactly where you're going, where you've covered. It's easy to reapply around the neck, behind the ears, in the ears, along the hairline, in the cre nose crevices here. And they make it completely fuss free. Now this one has cotton extract in, which I've only ever seen in like body washes and stuff like that. But basically that's a moisturizing ingredient. They do have something called anti-sebum pee, um, which they say is um, oil balancing ingredients like evening primrose and ginseng root. And I do notice that when I'm reapplying this, I don't get oily or extra greasy throughout the day. But what I think this is down to really is they've got like a really fine oil absorbing powder in here. And at first I didn't like the sound of that because I don't like matte skin, you know that. It's like powdering your face. It wasn't like that at all. All it does is take you from like a day grease to back to glowing again. So yeah, really, really enjoying these two as a base application in the day, in the morning, and then reapplying with this throughout the day. This is the Benton Air Fit UV Defense Sun Cream, SPF 50 plus, PA4 pluses. If you know K-Beauty, you obviously know Benton and you probably know this product. It's always in the best sellers of every website you go on, every... Korean sunscreen review everything because it is such a good and trustworthy sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum chemical only sunscreen that in all honesty is just your default chemical sunscreen. It's kind of what I feel is like the blueprint for a chemical sunscreen in the sense that it is super lightweight, easy to apply, doesn't sting the eyes, all that kind of stuff. But more so the fact that it has those moisturizing benefits. And I always say this is like Korean sunscreens are sunscreens with moisturizing benefits benefits. Not moisturizers with SPF, but like SPF with moisturizer. Do you know what I mean? Like the main focus is on the sun protection, but it has all those really nice ingredients that help moisturize your skin. This has all your favorites like Seeker to help soothe. We have Panthenol, which helps soothe, but also moisturize. And Niacinamide to help brighten your skin. Those really are the key ingredients but like, what, what else do you need? What else do you need? This glides on and disappears within seconds. You can apply this and apply this and apply this without feeling greasy or bogged down with sunscreen. It's just like, if you, if you wanna try your first Korean sunscreen, this one or the next one I'm gonna talk about is honestly the one to go for. You won't be let down by that one. Okay, so my first ever Korean sunscreen I bought through Style Korean is this one here and introduced me to possibly my favorite Korean brand of all time. And that is the COSRX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50 Plus PA3 Pluses. I actually bought this after reviewing some Japanese stuff and a subscriber at the time, I think I was on like 20,000 subscribers, said, have you tried Korean sunscreen? In their opinion, they said they were better than Japanese sunscreens and Japanese sunscreens at the time was like nothing I ever used before compared to like UK sunscreen. So I was like, mm, okay, I'm not sure how it could get much better, but they sent me a link to this one and I loved this. This was just like using a moisturizer and opened me to a whole new world of non-greasy, non-sticky, non-beach smelling sunscreens. As I mentioned, this has that moisturizing texture. It's a little bit heavier than say like your standard chemical sunscreen, but it's ideal for people with oily skin throughout all the year. People with dry skin will absolutely love this as well. The key things they focus on in the sunscreen is of course the aloe ingredient because it's hydrating and it's soothing. And we have some glycerin in here too, but really that's it. So other than your chemical filters and some nice like emollients and standard stuff you'll find in like a moisturizer, this feels very basic in a very necessary way. I would say it's like one up on this one, like this is this is slightly better than this one. Just for me, it's that soothing aloe. And just the way that this really is a sunscreen that can double as a moisturizer in the truest form. But this also has a level of hydration like I've not tried in other sunscreen moisturizers before. This one is a fair bit hydrating compared to this one, but this is just like your hydrating, moisturizing moisturizer and an added bonus that it also protects you from the sun. I love this. It's a cult favorite for a reason. It's a best seller for a reason. This doesn't give you like a dewy glow or a hydrated looking finish. It just kind of settles on the skin quite well. But for me in summer, that's absolutely fine for reapplication. Summer is usually the time where I want to look less greasy. Um, luckily a lot of these sunscreens lay are absolutely fine. But this is just probably one of the most comfortable sunscreens I've used on my skin. So yes, if you're oily, you can wear this all year round as your moisturizer and sunscreen. But if you're dry, you're also gonna love this. It's moisturizing and nourishing enough. I just can't say um, enough good stuff about this or Cosrx in general. Here's one. This is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 plus PA4 pluses. I think I was initially interested in this because Ramon actually um, reviewed it before and it just like really good. I would say that this is again your 
um, very standard chemis chemical sunscreen in a nice way, just with a load of soothing ingredients, making this super comfortable on the skin, even if you have a damaged skin barrier. I mean, a lot of people say to avoid sunscreen when you have a damaged skin barrier, I guess. But honestly, if you're irritated and still want to use a sunscreen, this works really, really well. For a long time, I was obsessed with rice. I think when I first started my K-beauty journey, I was so obsessed with rice. I'm kind of starting to revisit that obsession again. So when I saw that this contained 30% rice extract, I was like, yeah, I really want to try this. But it's not just rice. We have a whole lot of skin loving ingredients like niacinamide. We have green tea, which is a really nice antioxidant. We have coconut fruit extract for extra hydration. Ginseng root extract, which is great antioxidant, another traditional Korean ingredient. Whilst the fermented rice helps strengthen your skin and generally, generally like refreshes your skin. And overall appearance, this is a great all rounder for all skin types. I think anyone can love this. Anyone can use this one. Oily types may find this a little bit heavy with constant reapplication. But again, if you're going to use this as like a base in the day and then reapply with something like this through the rest of the day, you'll be fine. People with dry combination, normal, normal skin will absolutely love this. Okay. So this is one I forgot about. A subscriber actually reminded me about because they were like, do you still use that sunscreen? I was like, no, but I need to. This is the Hilagom Celis Sun Gel SPF 50 plus PA3 pluses. This is a sunscreen that I will now always keep on back stock to remind me how much I enjoy using this and to remind me that it exists. When you use so much um, sun cream and products in general, you do forget some of your favorites. The brand Legom is actually like simplicity meets science at its finest. And this moisturizer sunscreen hybrid is, is just incredible. This is one of the more deeply hydrating mo uh, sunscreens that doesn't just feel like it's sat on your skin. It feels like it's really doing something for your skin. It gives you that dewy kind of glass skin finish without feeling sticky, without feeling greasy, without traveling into your eyes if you're being a bit more active. It's quite good at staying put. It doesn't say it's like um, waterproof or anything. I don't think it is, but it is very, very good at not shifting around your face. The sunscreen actually also contains urea to help retain moisture. And whilst this does have some fragrant ingredients that I'd usually avoid in other products, I didn't realize until after using this, and it was just so good that I kind of didn't care. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna continue to use this one because it, it's just so good. Especially if you have very oily skin, combination skin, this is a great one to go for. And finally, we have this one by Mary and May, the Seeker Soothing Sun Cream Sensitive Skin. I've not been trying this one for a long time, but I don't feel like, I feel like it only takes a week to try sunscreen. Does it protect you from the sun? Does it irritate your skin? How does it look on the skin, you know? This brand style Korean actually introduced me to after trying a few more of their bits. I was kind of really interested in trying this. They are a vegan brand and this is a mineral sunscreen with a surprising amount of like minimal white cast. In a non-greasy texture, I often find that mineral sunscreens are kind of drying and powdery and this doesn't feel like this that at all. It's just got a really normal moisturizing moisturizer feel to it. This sunscreen uses seven kinds of Centella Asiatica. So basically that means it uses every part of the plant to maximize the benefits, including Madagascar which is also a great antioxidant. And they work great with sunscreen. We also have niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And again, you can kind of feel that. You can kind of feel it hydrating. It's uh, it's confusing because I was expecting something completely different from this, but it, it honestly just feels like a very nice moisturizer. Again, reapplication is very, very easy. It doesn't feel bogged down or greasy. Unfortunately, these are one of those brands that are like, we love the EWG, we're non-toxic, we're reef safe, and all that kind of stuff that I don't really opt for with a brand. But this is such a nice sunscreen that I'm kind of like willing to see past that. So there we go. Those are some of my favorite K-Beauty sunscreens, some of my first, some of my favorite, some iconic sunscreens, and a few newish ones that I'm absolutely loving. So let me know if you tried any of these in the comments down below. Thank you so much to Style Korean for sponsoring today's video. All the products are linked in the description box down below. Go check out Style Korean. Have a really good browse. You spend ages on there browsing, make baskets, delete some stuff, re-add some stuff, you know, the usual. You can watch some more product reviews here and some general light entertainment here and I'll see you over there.